Hi, it's Jess here from Nigeria Creates. Thank you for joining me uh, today. Um, it's the evening. I don't normally film in the evening, um, but um, Ed's gone out. So I thought, oh, I'll do a bit. I've been crafting all day. I didn't film nothing. Um, I'm a bit inky. But I went on a um, Stamping Up Team retreat um, this weekend and had some swaps. Uh, you might have seen the video on swaps and I got this envelope and um, it was made by a teammate called Karen Matthews and it is a little origami envelope and I thought I'm gonna have to make this I really really liked it and I thought they would make great envelopes in a junk journal and what I quite liked was the fact that it would hold a lot and then it could be stuck down on a page on three sides and then you would have a pocket in the back as well so I couldn't work out how to do it I had no idea I stared and stared at it and I just thought I can't work it out although now I know how to make it I can see you know that that I could have done it but anyway I didn't so um so I messaged her and went hey it's driving me scatty how can I make it so she sent me a link to a little video on um a reel on um Instagram so I got out some six by six paper and I made my own I have stuck this down because I thought it was going in a journal I wanted to have a little bit more stability so I stuck this down and I inked all round it so having made one out of that I then took um, a digital and I did it with a digital as well and I just put a little Tracy label it's actually Tracy Fox's digital just put some stamps on and look how cool is that I like it. So these were all done with six by six. And then I grabbed a book page. And uh, so this was bigger. And uh, so I did it with a with a book page, which I just sort of decorated with some more Tracy Fox digital. Just happened to have some on my desk. Thought I'd do that. Inked it all up, added a bit of scrap there. Tracy label, hold it in place thought that would be fab now that one because I've decorated that side probably up this is a floating thing or something or maybe just a bit of happy mail and you could stuff some all sorts of goodies in there so there is oh, I can't remember the hashtag but it's the mass make I'll put the hashtag that that you do it so March Mash Make, March Mash Make, can't even say it. March Mass Make, I think it is. It's the one that Corey Darman um, has um, sort of started. And it's uh, a challenge in the um, Foxy Crafters, Tracy Fox's group. So I thought I must make some envelopes because once you get in the swing of these, they're really easy to do and you can make them out of all sorts so i've got some paper i want to make them out of which for the life oh there it is i couldn't find it so this is very old stamping up paper this is called press petals speciality designer series paper and i loved this because it was a little bit thinner and i think a little bit thinner would work um really well for this project and i love the you know what's on the other side as well so i might just use this scrap we'll start with a wee one maybe and then we can we can make bigger so you have to have a square so it doesn't matter the size of your square all the others were six by six what have we got here this is about five and a quarter let me get me trimmer and um We'll have a little look-see at what we've got. It's not very straight there anyway. So let's just 
let's just cut this down to five. So we'll do they're nice little scraps, aren't they? The little Cory clusters. So we'll do five by five. And I might I might make two and um have one 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 way and one another. So we'll start with these. I'm just gonna see how many I can I can get done. So we'll do these in these different ways so you need the diagonal line so just lightly with a pencil which I also got in my swaps nice little handy dandy pencil so just little light line like that I'm not going all the way to the top you don't need to this one's going to be harder to see. There we go. And it's just so you can see your line, the folding up. So it's a bit like a nappy fold. Or or a different fold, if you call nappies something different. I know in the States they call them diapers. I don't know what they call them in other parts of the world. But it's like a kite fold. There we go. And I'm just going to rub out. Rub out my line now because we don't need it. There we go. And it would be visible. So, and then I'm going to do this one, so you can see again, so just where that pencil line is, we are folding this over that is your first fold okay I'm just gonna rub out that pencil line oh not drawing another one just rubbing it out so that's that then what we want to do I've rubbed it out now so I can't see the pencil line um, I can faintly see it there so this needs to go up there. Judge your own distance. Fold it like so. And then we want to fold it over. Fold it under there. This is why slightly thinner paper is slightly better. Fold it under there. Like that. So we'll do that one more time. We're going up there. You would have still had your line had I not. I think Karen, who made it for me, did actually do a very light score. Which you could do. And then that's folding down. So depending on how far up you do it, depends how big your envelope's going to be. There we go. Like that. So that's, that's that. So we've got little sort of little boat things. So now we're going to take that fold there, take it up to there. Same on the other side. That fold there, up to there, and give it a good, good burnish. Okay, now you could, I guess, stick that down, but that's not what we're doing. So that 
fold up there. Like so. So that's where we've got. Just going to take a little drink. So now we're going to open that back up and then we push push that in. Oh, that's not gone over there. Fold that in there. Push that in there. So that gives us our little our little gusset there. Okay. Same on this side. Fold. Fold that triangle now the other way. There we go. So now we want to fold down. So you want the sides here to cover this bit. So I just level it up at the sides, fold it down. So fold this down, level the sides up with the side there. That is our little envelopes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna glue them because I think that that is better. I'm also gonna ink. So before I glue down, I am gonna ink down here along there sides basically open it up and ink every fold line you do not have to do this bit you would be a lot quicker if you didn't do this bit I like to ink the edges. So I think Yep, just need a bit down the edge here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue because that it slightly opens as it comes up. I don't want glue on the middle because that would then stick to the back of the envelope. So I'm just going around the edges, coming in a little bit, but not all the way in, and then some glue on that bit. So those bits stick down and then that will fold over so now we can give that a good burnish and that is now a bit more sturdier was well, a lot more sturdier because that is now fastened okay so I'm not sure that the ink's going to show up very much. 
on this paper, but it's certainly going to show up here on the inside. So we are going to ink across there. And I like to ink up this triangular bit so that that so that shows because I think that gives a nice a nice little effect going on there. Yep. So you get a lot more made in your mask make if you didn't ink, but because you want to glue some of these envelopes, bits of this envelope down, you do actually need to ink before you glue. There we go. So I think we are ready now. So let me just put the lid on that a sec. So like before, I'm going to glue up that triangle bit down the edge, but not totally to the middle. And then this triangle bit here. So we can glue up to there. And then fold that under. And that's our two envelopes. So that's what it looks like the opposite way around. But I think they're cute. Cute little envelopes. So that's five by five. So we can decorate them further, but we're, we're mass making at the moment, aren't we? So not doing too much. So why don't we do some book page? So whoop, we're going to have a craft a lunch in a sec. There we go. So I've got this old encyclopedia. So take a bit of this. Now, one of the ways of, um, I'm just gonna, I don't think it matters actually for that side a bit. So one way of making a square is to do that and then you know to cut up there. So I'm gonna use my trimmer to cut up there. You could use scissors, could use, could you just use a ruler and tear? Let's use a ruler and tear, Jez. That's a good idea. I've got my ruler there. So, put my ruler down the edge of that. And tear. There we go. That. And I don't need to draw a line on this because I've folded it that way. So, I've got my centre point there. So, fold that up. Fold that up. Fold this up so the point is on the centre line. Should we go up there? It's quite a long way to go up, but I'm quite happy with that. And then fold it down so it tucks under the back until it meets where this goes over. There we go. Fold these sides in. 
So this is vintage encyclopedia. So it's quite thin paper, but this front bit is like multiple layers. So it's actually fine. Fold those back on themselves. Fold that size side back on its side. And now we'll fold, fold this over. And down. Like so. So that is that one. So I want to do some inking on this because you can't really sort of tell where this is. And even on the last one that I decorated, I didn't decorate this front bit. So that most deaf needs inking there. I want to ink across there. I want to ink across there. That's already got the natural discoloration of the paper, so I might leave that as it is. Just go down these bits. So we've been 22 minutes and I've made three. I don't think that's that bad. So we are going to put a bit of glue on this. some glue on this flap here which is then going to glue down the centre bit and that is that now this front bit is quite sturdy but I decorated the flap and I did some decoration on the back if I was going to stick this in a journal to form a pocket I wouldn't need to decorate the back at all because that would get glued down on three sides on the page this would open up that would be decorated and that would be a pocket down the back there so that's that so that's book page and sort of designer series paper Oh, what have I got here? I have vintage ledger. So let's do a bit, a bit of vintage ledger. So let's get a nice square of this. Of course, don't have to make it this size. I could cut it smaller, but right down. I'm taking that away, so that makes life easier. qualifies as antique because it's, it's like 120 odd years old this so yeah I think it's probably antique Jez 
And here I am ripping it up. I bought two. That does help with the ripping it up. So one is intact. There was only writing on the first page. So it's just beautiful paper and it's really quite thick as well. This is going to be quite a sizable envelope. Might make another one that's a wee bit smaller. sides in. Because this is quite thick, this bit is quite difficult. Uh, oh, getting hot. I was quite cold earlier. I put the heating on, but I was downstairs and this room is the warmest room in the house. So I get boiling, but I know that the people downstairs, because I do have my son home at the moment and he's downstairs. But I think if, if he wasn't, I probably wouldn't have put the heating on. But I went down to get a drink and I thought, oh, it's chilly, let's put the heating on. Although if he was cold, he would put it on. He's paying his way. He can put the heat on. There we go. That's that. And then I do like the way that that... that look, oh, and I love the way that that looks. Fabulous. So that would be a really nice pocket on a journal. Put a Tracy label there. I wouldn't even decorate that very much, but I think I might put some stamping on that to decorate. I think that would look nice, and I do think it would look nice. Bit of inking. I don't think this needs very much because the paper's just stunning on its own. That's got its own discoloration, so I don't need to add to that. holding better because the paper's much thicker so it is holding in place a lot better I've just had a thing notification that our sisters Sent me a messenger message, but 
on my Nine Jessie Creates Facebook page as opposed to just sending it to me, Jess. Don't know what she's playing at. Right, there we go. She probably didn't notice she ain't got glasses on. So she's as bad as me. That I really like. I'm not going to glue that one for now because I think I might do some stamping on that. So I don't want to glue it down because I might do some stamping on these two sides. So there we go. So we've got four. So that's that. Um, yeah. And now she's just sent me a text message laughing at herself going, lol, I've just sent you a messenger to Nigeria Creates. <laughs> oh, she makes me laugh. She really. This is that lovely cigar paper that um, I got in at the charity shop which I love. Right, and so I'm going to use my ruler. I just think that edge is wonderful. So how, how big is this? So that's like seven inches. I think that make it smaller than the other envelope. There we go. That Stunning, stunning. I love that edge for, for decorating. There we go. So we'll do that. Yes, this is a bit smaller. So yeah, I love this idea of a mass make. And that's sort of what I was doing today, I was making a few different things and um, and then it's it's great to then just have them in your stash for for when you need them and then it means that when you make a journal it doesn't take very long I did a journal cover for the inspiration station that um, I was doing for the weekend craft event. And I decided the night before that I want to fill the journal. And um, well, it didn't take long because I had all this stuff already made. So somebody asked me how long did it take to do a journal? And I said, well, the stuff's already made. You can do one quite quickly. But obviously, I've spent time. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try something different here. Yes, yeah, so I've spent time making the stuff. Well, that didn't really help. That's not really gone down. It doesn't matter junk journal don't care but I am getting quicker my first journal took me six six months best part of six months I was doing other things I wasn't just making that I was doing my usual videos for YouTube as well and I'm kind of spending like one day a week on my junk journal I call it like my day off so one day a week for six months that's like 24 days, isn't it? That's rubbish maths, Jez. 26 days, if it was actually six months. Which is just under four weeks. We could call it four weeks. Which isn't too bad. I do do them much quicker now. And then... Of course, I love this paper. It's just stunning, isn't it? It's 
stunning paper. That is annoying me. But that is like that. There. Pull that down like that. That's better. There. Yeah, that's much better. Right. Let's get me ink. There we go. Knew I had to re ink. So, um, I've done Vintage Encyclopedia, Antique Ledger Paper call it antique shall we um i think 100 years old is an antique isn't it and it's more than that um got my car paper and i've got my scrapbook paper i could do Oh, I could do an Edith Holden, maybe. Gotta love a bit of Edith Holden. And I could do, got those botanical books. Oh, I could do a map one. I think I bought a new, I did buy a new atlas the other day, didn't I? Which I think is not being put away and it's still on the floor. You won't know I bought one the other day because that um, charity shop haul won't be out for a few weeks yet. So you're going to see me using before you've actually seen me reveal. How cool is that? Love it. So. Do a bit of, bit of glue in on this. So yeah, we'll do matte paper next, I think. So mass making is like making the same thing over and over again. Um, And seeing how many you do. I know I've seen people do masterboards. I think Tracy did a masterboard and then cut it up into tags as a mass make. Yeah, love that. I saw Julie from Camino Crafts do, I think it was one of Corey's um, um, things using a 12 by 12 sheet. And I did that this morning. Did an hour, made like four things. Um, so this is what I did. So just a quick show and tell here. So that's opened up. Got a little notebook here, little scrappy notebook, pocket. Made some tickets. This is just other random ephemera, but made that ticket as well. And all these circles to do the fastening. Policy envelope. This is all out of one sheet of 12 by 12. I got given some vintage patterned um, paper. It's quite thick. It's almost cardstock. I'll just put a little bit of paper in. 
um, at the weekend one of my friends said what I like it's from Germany as well so that's quite exciting um, and then a little pocket here so you've got a pocket in the middle pocket in each side just a little journey card in there tickets from the 12 by 12 and then that was something that was in my stash a little altered playing card but I thought it went quite well so I made that this morning one of the mass makes 12 by 12 Julie's video was about an hour long this took me much longer than an hour to make but um, hey ho oh look it's falling apart oh well you don't feel so guilty then do you not that I'd feel guilty about ripping it up. I might have already ripped some out, actually. I'm trying to think. Oh, I had. I obviously ripped that out for a reason. Oh, I think in the video I ripped it out and showed how that was nicely. Um, could be a page. So, here we go. Um, how wide is this? Seven and a half. So, what was seven? Was that about seven? Oh, so it's going to be about that size. Yeah, quite like that. That will do nicely. Well, that would be a nice little flip in the corner. Shall I do it that way so that that's like, that could be the top one. Yeah, we'll do that, Jess. That's a good idea. There we go. We'll do that. Just going to have a slurp. You know, while people are crafting and they're like, I'm just going to have a slurp of my tea, particularly us. UK British um, crafters, I've got beer. <laughs> I've got beer because it's the night time. Crafting with beer. Oh, it's right nice. So there we go. All right. Out at the pub. So he's having beer. Oh, did that the wrong way. That's not going to be the top flap, is it? No, Jess, it's not. And I don't want to fold it the other way. So there we go, Tufty. Tufty, what's it? That's what it is. So, uh, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll have a beer. Fancy the beer. James had a beer as well. We can't be drinking alone. So... Ed's having a beer out, James is having a beer downstairs, I'm having a beer up here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something a bit different. So I'm going to line my ruler up like with the top edge so that that gets creased. So that it will now fold the other way and fold down. Oh, cooking on gas. That genius idea was brought to you by the power of beer. I'm not going to advertise to tell you what beer I'm drinking. It's a real ale, or what they tend to call them now in pubs. Car scale. So there we go. And I'll fold that back in, pull it off. Love it. Love it, love it. What part of the country is it? No flipping idea. 
cardigan. It is cardigan. Cardigan Bay. Isn't that in Wales? Showing my total ignorance. Yeah. New key. Yeah, that's Wales. There we go. So we are going to we went to Wales last year for a holiday. And so North Wales, Conway, and um we went to Anglesey as well. We visited this absolutely stunning place, Trigarda Tr Bay, something like that. I've probably butchered that. And uh, took my mother-in-law. And we just loved it. And uh, at one point she said, oh, you enjoy. We were, there were some, there were like amazing little flat rocks there. We were just climbing on them. And I'm picking up interesting stones and I was taking pictures. And so Stella went, oh, I'll just, I'll just nip off. You enjoy yourselves. I need to find somewhere to sit down. She was having problems with a rip or a back. So I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we didn't realise was she'd gone into the hotel there and um, bought us a... Uh, you know, paid for like a voucher so that that would pay for us to go back there for a weekend. So we're going there in July, August, July. Can't remember. Anyway, Ed's booked it. So it's lovely. So we got two nights and a meal. Probably have to put a few bits to it, but uh, yeah. Very much looking forward to going back there. Because it was quite chilly. Well, it wasn't warm, let's say. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like getting the water weather. But I think with the summers we've been having, it might be when we go in the summer. Also means it might be packed. But... So, 47 minutes. I'm thinking that now I ought to do some decorating, putting the closures on. So I've got two, four, I've done six, that's not bad, is it? So. Let me think, that needs a bit of something on there. What can I put on there? I'm just like looking around my desk. I didn't particularly get much out that I could possibly use for decorating. So let me little out. Let me little out. Let me have a little skeg in here. I have got. Use that. This is Tracy Fox Dark Pendulum. I cut it all up and I folded all the sheets over to um, ready for a journal. Um, that would look nice. Corner bit like that. That would be stunning. Actually, that's what that would be. So I'm gonna. Because it's really thin paper, this, because it is an old encyclopedia. Not sure the date of it. Yeah. Only going to do the flap. So... I'm gonna just just in case I'm gonna do that right up to 
the edge. Because I think that's I just like it. So I'm not going to do the back because my thoughts are that this is going to end up. I think I'm going to have to snip that. Going to end up on a on a page. something to stick to stick down right need something a bit wider than that one if I got one that's wider that one right and that's a bit wider there counts doesn't say accounts at all, it says account. Love that one. What I like to do is cut the slanted ends. Don't know if that was Tracy's intention, but it's what I do. There we go. First, do that on the back side. So, all I'm going to do is going to go down, down the sides, just a little bit in the bottom there, down the sides, a little bit at the bottom there. Just enough to catch it in. And it could be embellished further to match whatever journal it was going in. So I don't want to over necessarily over decorate. And some you could leave undecorated. There we are. That's that. Cool. Like it. Right. Little Tracy 8 labels. I've got some little ones up here. I'll just grab them. I'm trying to not crash bang while I, while I picture everything. And I failed miserably. That is not Tracy Labels, guys. However, they may do the trick. Something I can put on the back of here. Not that, no. No. We'll do that one in a minute. So, got, that's like a signature from a check. 
and it's like pinky. That's probably quite a good thing. I could put it over so that it's a bit in keeping with that. I did want to stamp on this as well, didn't I? Yeah, so I might not do that one. There we go. I'm not doing very well, am I? Oh, i tell you what I like. I like the look of that. Maybe with this one. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like that one. I'm getting a right mess here. Tracy labels are. It's fair annoying that counts. Oh, I think I know where some are. There we go. So I can do that. I can just glue down the two sides and come in a little way. That will work. conscious of the fact that it's been nearly 57 minutes so I'm going to want to stop very very soon right. um, I've got this gynophorus for you folder that I did um, so what colours do I want? I'm thinking reds on there. So let's maybe have that. that on there. Two, one and a half minutes to go and that'll be the hour done and I've not really properly decorated one although to be fair do they need any more decoration? less is more Although that's not true in a drug journal, is it? They just slap everything on. But I think it's quite nice to leave things where you can still do more to it for your uh, to go with whatever the theme is. You don't want to you don't want to overdo it, do you? Like that. So I'll probably bring another video where I decorate this one a lot more. I've got plans for that. So there we go. That's me hour. So we have got a map envelope, a nice 
envelope there. This cutesy one there. One made out of book page. One made there out of me accounting paper. And that one there that I haven't decorated um, yet at all. And then these are me, me little prototypes that I did. And that was my inspiration. So, hope you enjoyed that mass make. And um, I will probably come back and decorate that a little bit further. Or you might see it in when I use it in a journal. Okay, thanks for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, if you click on the hashtag, um, you'll be able to see what other people have been making in this month-long March mash make. Okay, I can't even say it. All right then, bye for now.